lifestyle is still, you know, what I would say is, is holding this range. I discussed that yesterday, and we're pretty much right in the middle here. We're under 92.50, uh, which has shown a little bit of support previously. But, you know, when, you know, price is like this and, and we're between two areas of, of resistance up at around 93 flat or just below it, and then, you know, the the bottom there of support that's been established is, you know, around the 92 flat area, it becomes a situation where, you know, the market and Jin and I were discussing this before the call uh, began is that, you know, the markets are just waiting for something. And, you know, what we did see last night is after a little bit of equity, uh, equity markets selling off, especially in the US, we did see it rebound a little bit. So again, that dip by mentality and what that reflects is that there is still very much confidence in the markets. It was just, you know, there were some jitters that were uh, coming out and you could see that with what the equities were doing. But frankly, you know, as we have a look at this now, it's, it's a matter of, you know, what is going to happen. The markets seem to be somewhat confident and they are still buying you know, that dip that did occur. Now, I just want to quickly touch upon the news as well that, that happened last night. Just to give a little bit of context into the US session as well. Now, what I'll do, I'll share the economic calendar thanks to Forex Trading Asia as well. Now, this is a free service that you can uh, subscribe to as well. Uh, any of your details, and if you like articles, you can accumulate points. And after a thousand points, you can redeem a uh, $20 gift card with Amazon. So last night, now this is GMT plus eight as well. So for us in this time zone, it is uh, last night. So there was, you know, some news for the US, uh, something that I, I did notice the NY Empire State Manufacturing Index was up a little bit. But, you know, frankly, when you just have a look through, that really wasn't the, the key driver of things, honestly. And if we we go down, we did have the, the CAD uh, news that came out for the CPIs last night, and that will be discussed in a little more detail with Daniel. We, we did have the live trading call last night as well with members of the LCMS Traders Club. And uh, so for tonight for the US in particular, we do have the core retail sales. Now that's, you know, and the retail sales both coming out at 8.30 this evening, GMT plus eight. So if we do see, uh, an increase there, uh, negative 0.1 is expected. And if we do see a, a higher figure than that, that beats the expectation that, you know, could see the US dollar lift a little bit. But again, it's been somewhat, you know, strained market conditions. It's been very, you know, peculiar. We did have the CPI data come in a little bit, you know, un unexpectedly not as elevated as, as we thought. It was all sort of down. And then from there, we've sort of had the markets in a bit of a confused state nearly where, you know, the bulls and the bears have not really had that conviction to, you know, have a big run. Even the Aussie dollar as well, we saw that was offering some selling, but then it hasn't really done much, even with that employment data that came out that wasn't particularly favorable. So I think guys, if I just go quickly back to the chart now, in regards to, you know, the US index, I would say it's definitely just a matter of, you know, waiting and just seeing how that figure comes out. And then, you know, 30 minutes or so after, you know, it'd be interesting to see how risk uh, sentiment responds to that. But it's been pretty good, you know, for the week in regards to the trade calls that have been announced as well. So sometimes it's good just to know when to stay out of the market. And I would say for now, 